Now, let's give you a little more context. All right, so from New York standpoint, the Liberty failed to pull even in this series, become the ninth team to face a 2-0 hole in the finals. Not only did none of the previous eight teams come back to win this series, seven of those previous eight teams got swept in game three. New York trying to avoid that Sunday. Asia Wilson, unstoppable, 26-15. and 15. It's her third career game with at least 20 points and 10 rebounds in the finals, second most in WNBA history. That is impressive. And then this. This victory keeps the Aces' perfect record in the postseason intact. They're 7-0. and oh, A win Sunday. Vegas would welcome, excuse me, become the first team in WNBA history to go 8-0 and oh in a single postseason. And as Nicole just mentioned, also the first to win back-to-back -back titles since the 2001-2002 Sparks. So that is the perspective. Let's go back and show you exactly what do happened it? in this game. So... You've got the stars on both sides, and you knew the Liberty would want to come out with some momentum, and the Aces were like, yeah, not here, not tonight. Corner three by Kia Stokes, Aces up six, next possession. Off the miss, Asia tracks it down, finds Kelsey Plum spotting up, three ball bucket. It's up to seven, then it's up to 12. Jackie Young, she's at the top of the key. She's wide open. 17 to 2 is the score. Watch this possession. All five players touch the ball, and eventually Chelsea Gray gets it. Shot clock's winding down, but it didn't matter because they were in a groove. Everybody high. Benches are fired up. Now, if you remember in game one, they outscored the Liberty by 20 in the second half, so this is just continuing that run from game one. Wilson. Her first three of the playoffs, Ace is going to score 38 points in the first quarter. WNBA Finals record for points in a first quarter. They were up 38 to 19. Liberty trying to get something going, and they turn to John Quell Jones. A little easy lay in there. They cut the deficit to 12. Next possession, Sabrina Ionescu in the corner, wide open three. A 12-2 run made it a 52-44 game at the half, so it was manageable until the third quarter started. Young, in traffic, off the glass, and one. Free throw, put the lead back to 16. Next possession for Vegas. How about that bounce pass from Gray to Wilson? And then later, it's a 19-point deficit for New York. Gray with the steal. Gives it up. Bucket. You got to see that one more time. Good defense usually leads to good offense. And that's what happened there. And then speaking of good passes, oh, how about that to Asia Wilson? I mean, Becky Ham is like, look, we're gonna give some love to players who deserve it. And that is Chelsea Gray. Look at that intensity from the Hall of Famer. It's 80 to 57 after the third, fourth quarter. Aces just rolling, rolling, rolling. Kelsey Plum knocks down a three. The only question would be, what would be the deficit? They won game one by 17. They roll in this one in the second half, 104-76. Take a look at those numbers. Yeah, they did it at both ends. They shot the ball well. They did not allow New York to do it. That's why it's a 2-0 lead going back to New York for game three. Nicole. And look who we have here. Miss Kelsey Plum now joins the show. It's good to see you. Congratulations. I mean, we're watching what your team has done, not just in this postseason run, but like the entire season. And what you're now doing to a team that has been really good. How are you doing it to this point? Uh, Keyword, team. Um, everybody on our team making plays offensively and defensively. Um, that's what we've done all season. You know, we're a very united front, uh, one through 11. And, uh, you know, we're led by the best leader in sports. So for us, we go out there um, and we're just trying to, you know, play our roles. And um, everybody stepped up tonight, made a ton of plays offensively and defensively. And uh, we protected our home court. The Liberty went on that 12-0 uh, run at the end yeah. of the first half to make it a little closer. What was Becky Hammond's message to you at the break? I mean, they're a super talented team, and if we're not going to be able to get stops and rebound the ball, um, we're going to be in trouble. So, you know, for us, we had to crash on the boards and, you know, really help our post players. And when we're able to get stops and run, that's when we're at our best, um, and we're making shots, and we're in the flow. So the ball got a little stagnant in the second quarter. Um, they made their run, and, you know, in the third quarter, we just we came out. I told Jackie Young, you're going to have a big third quarter. And she, she put us on our back, and then, you know, Chels, A, everybody contributed. It, it was awesome tonight.
Uh, Becky Hammond strikes me as the person who is like a tough grader. I mean, she gave you like a B, uh, a C and a D <laughs> following the last game. Let's just take this half by half. Your first half performance, what kind of grade is she giving you? Oh, man. First quarter, A+. Plus. Uh, <laughs> second quarter, uh, probably a D. So overall, I don't know, maybe C-, minus, and then, of course, in the second half, I think we, I got B+, plus, A-. minus. We'll find out when I get to the locker room. Okay, because I'm like, you know, you're 7-0 and in the postseason at this point. You keep racking up the wins. Most people will look at that and say, this is like an A-plus performance. Yet she is so intense. Why does that work for your group of players? How does she keep you motivated? We have a standard. We don't play to the scoreboard. Um, we play on principle. And the things that we do, we stick to them. So, you know, everyone's accountable. And that's what really I appreciate about Coach. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter the accolades you have. Um, she's going to get on you if you're not doing your job. And, you know, everyone on this team receives that. And that's, that's very rare. That's very rare. Everyone doesn't have an ego. Um, and we just want to win. It'd be very easy to look at the next game and look at what you've been able to do to this point and be like, oh, this, this is easy. This is a foregone conclusion. We are going to repeat as champions. How do you avoid that letdown? Oh, man, this is not easy. Um, that's a very, very talented team, and they have a lot of pride in that locker room. Uh, we're going to enjoy tonight, and we'll watch the film. We'll see what adjustments we can make, and we know that they're going to come out and give us everything they got in New York. Um, so we got to be ready for that. We couldn't help but notice that someone seemed to be missing from um, courtside area uh, for this game. Tom Brady was MIA. What would be your message to your co-owner now? Tommy, where are you at? <laughs> no, he's great. He came game one. Um, he's a busy man, as you can tell. He's got a lot going on, so we're grateful that he, uh, you know, he was here with us. Um, but I know he's proud of us, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, We'll try to finish strong maybe, for him. Maybe he'll see you on Sunday for a potentially really big game. Kelsey Plum, congratulations. We'll see you Sunday. Thank you.